Okay, so now we know what the um, different nutritional benefits are of the cabbage, the carrot, the kiwi and the banana. Are we ready to play some games? Yeah. Yeah, we're ready to play some games. Who is ready to be a cabbage monster with cabbage monster fangs? Tea? Are we ready? Me. Are we ready? Excellent. Okay, so what we do is we copy the rainbow fairy. I know what that is. The pink stuff. Can you do this? One, two, three. If I put them on your plate, and then you can do it when you're ready. Mm. I'll be scary, scary monsters. You can try and scare me. Oh, oh just so. Oh, very good. Well done for trying it. Well done. Good trying, though. Excellent. If you know how to eat it, can you just be a scary oh. monster like this? Put it in between your teeth and you just go, ah! Do it, do it, do it on. What do you think? Do you think it's nice? Mmm. Of course you can. Mm, of course you can. Anybody want any more? Can I first? Yeah, of course you can. Not all of it. I have to save some. There we go. How as much as you like. Good girl, well done. Good trying. Do you want to put it back on your plate? Well done. Hang on, let's take it then. Put it on the mm. Now whose tummy feels good? <laughs> <laughs> tummy feeling good? Mm. Excellent. Now are we ready to be carrot snakes? How do you think we're going to be carrot snakes? No peeking. Are we ready to be carrot snakes? <laughs> Shall I show you how to be carrot snakes? Mm. We go. Mm. before you finish yours. Who'd have thought carrot peelings could be so nice? Now, who can see in the dark? Well, we'll have to wait till later, won't we? When we're in our bedrooms late at night, it's dark. And see if it's really true. If carrots do actually help you to see in the dark. We need, we need to test it out later. Okay, so we've done carrots and we've done cabbage. Kiwi. Now, kiwi. Now, kiwi is a really good one for the girls because I like to wear kiwi lipstick because it's much. Oops. You alright then? You can put it down if you want. Well done. It's, hang on a minute, it's much better than lip gloss. See, see if you can do this. See if you can copy me. J just look. Do I look pretty? Do I look pretty? Do you, know, you look very pretty. Isn't it tasty kiwi look? I look very pretty. You look very handsome. Never mind, leave it, leave it Michael. I'll give you one more. Here we go. What you could do Michael, is you could put it on your plate and you could slop, slurp it up like this. Look, because in my rainbow workshops, we just have fun. It's not like being at home. We're supposed to have fun. So we can do this. One, two, three. <gasps> oh, I can use it as a beard. <laughs> See if you can slurp it up. Slurp it up, rather. Mm. Well done. Excellent. Mmm. Oh, you trying? Well done. I think you've had all the kiwi. Now, the seeds in kiwi is, are actually really good for your skin because they've got omega 6 oils in them. So if you're not aller allergic to them, then they're good for people with eczema. But we know kiwis are good for fighting germs, don't we? Because we call them germ busters. So can we do it together? Germ busters! Germ busters! I know what's next. It's bananas. Excellent, good memory. Now, you can tell me what they're good for. Banana! Smiley faces. Shall we see if they make you happy? Shall we see? Shall we put it to the test? Oh, I need all my fruit and veg strength to open this banana. Now, there is a little knife here. Shall we see? What I'd like you to do is to see if you can balance this banana on your tongue like this. Uh, I'm going to eat it up. 
Can you see if you can do it? There we go, Jazz, there's yours. Put your plate down, Michael. There you go. There you go. Oh, good balancing. Uh, oh, you slurped it up. Good girl. Well done. Now gobble it up. And I want to see those happy smiles. Who wants one more piece? Me. Mm. Would you like one more? Finish, your, finish the one you've got. And then have the second one. There we go. She, she slept up. Now, who knows? What happens to bananas sometimes? What happens on the outside of bananas? Yeah. They go a bit round, don't they? But that just means that they're ready to eat. Doesn't mean that they're bad. So I'm yeah. going to have one more. Oh, well done, Giselle. You're getting into the spirit of it. Do you want yeah. to try and do that as well? I went, I went. You already did, did you? Yeah, I get them. One more. giantest banana that I've ever seen in the history of the world. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. There we go, my goodness me. Mum, you're not going to get any. Sorry about that. Okay. These boys and girls need to, <laughs> needed to eat, didn't they? After school. Okay, ready? I'm going to try and get this up with my... Oh. <laughs> it's a bit harder than it looks. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, sometimes it's really good to play games with children uh, where food is involved because it just breaks down the barriers, it makes it all less scary, um, you use very small quantities so it just makes it more approachable and more manageable. So um, one of the games I use in my fun, fun with food play sessions for fussy eaters is a um, tasting game. So you can do this, we can play this blindfolded or with our eyes shut, or we don't have to, but um, these three winning volunteers are going to have their eyes shut, aren't you guys? Yeah, so if everybody shuts their eyes, I'm going to put something on the plate in front of them and I'd like you to feel it and then to smell it. Everyone's eyes shut? Ready, Giselle? I want you to feel it, smell it and then lick it. And if you want to, you can eat it. And I would like you to see if you can guess what it is. Okay, so no peeking. Right, Jazz, you've got something on your plate now next to you. No peeking. <laughs> No peeking. You've got something, Giselle. Michael, you've got something. Carefully. I already know what it is. I can feel it. Good girl. Try it. Don't like say it. it. Don't say it until you've tried it. Smell, smell it. it. That's it. Go on. Smell it. Feel it. Smell it. Taste it. What do you think? Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Yeah. It's a raisin. It's a raisin. That's right. Well done. Did you know it was a raisin? Yes, that's well done. I feel it. Okay. I shut. I shut. There's another thing coming your way. Okay. So, it is, put your plate down Michael and I'll put it on your plate so it doesn't drop off. There you go. Now, feel what you've got on your plate. There we go. Jazz, you can feel it. Feel it. Oh. What do you think that is? What do you think that is? Oh, I know. Smell it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait till Giselle's finished. Any ideas guys? Any yeah. ideas? What do we think? Yeah. What do you think? A sunflower seed. Well done, it's a sunflower seed. High five. Okay, now, sunflower seeds are really good for our brains. And they actually make oil, don't they? Sunflower oil, which I'll show you over there in a minute. So, if we eat sunflower seeds, we can be even more clever than we are already. We we'll try and do that sometimes. Eat sunflower seeds to be even more clever. What do you think? Nice? Okay, let's shut our eyes again. We've got more exciting things to come now. Shut your eyes, shut your eyes, Michael. Jazz, you got your eyes shut? Okay. Now, this one is a little trickier, and you've got one on yours, Jazz. Can you sit up? There you go. And Giselle, there's one on yours now, and Michael, there's one on yours. Ah, oh, thanks. Smell it, smell it, taste it, lick it, feel it. You shush a minute, Michael. Let's see if Giselle can get this one. It's quite tricky. Raisin! No, looks a bit like a raisin, feels a bit like a raisin. I know, I think I know. A date? Say again. A date? Mm -hmm. Good guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I know. I see it's a raisin. I think I know. It's round I I know. and red. I think, oh, yeah, I mm. <laughs> I'll give you one more then. What do you think it is, Michael? Is it a dried cherry? It is a dried cherry. Now, he's had them before, so that's why he knows. It's really hard to guess, isn't it? Did you like Did you like the dried cherry? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Let's try one more. Let's try one more. Eyes shut, everybody. Eyes shut. 
Okie dokie. Jazz, you've got one on your plate. Giselle, you've got one on your plate. And Michael, you've got one on your plate. Mm -hmm. Shush a minute, Michael. Is it delicious? What do you think it is? Mm -hmm. Smell it. Smell it. Mm -hmm. I think we'll let Giselle have the last one because you had the last cherry, didn't you? Shall we be fair? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What's pink? What do you think? Yeah, oh. um, strawberry. That's it, good girl. Yeah, strawberry. That's it, of course it is. It's dried strawberries, and strawberries are good for your blood. And it's really easy to remember that because strawberries are red and your blood is red. red. Exactly. Can you show me your blood? Can you see your blood here? So when you look at your blood, or if you cut yourself, they're a bit blue, aren't they? But you, we know that blood is red. That's it. If you cut yourself, you can say, Mum, I need to eat some strawberries because they're good for my blood. And that's because they're high in iron. 